School superintendents have nine days to figure out how to get the kids back into the classroom this fall while keeping them safe from COVID-19. Most of those plans are in the early stages, but all of them will include social distancing. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan takes us inside a North Syracuse classroom with a new format. This is a classroom that is set up for social distancing. It's a model the superintendent has used to show his teachers and other staff members what to expect when school opens, if it reopens in person in the fall. The desks do meet state education department guidelines. From the middle of the desk, the facilities teams have measured out to about six feet. It's almost dead on six feet when you take the middle point of each desk. It doesn't look too different from a high school classroom, but when you imagine what an elementary classroom is supposed to look like with a lot of bookshelves and carpets for students to sit on and big tables for students to gather around, this is dramatically different. It's important to have face-to-face -face contact where possible, and that's, that's one of the things that we're, we're recognizing. To the extent possible, we would want to have kids uh, in our schools. This is one of North Syracuse's elementary schools, but this district is home to the largest school building in the region, CNS High School. We'll ask the superintendent what he plans to do with all of those students coming up at 6. In North Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.